Hi everybody, I am Brian Mullins the Fox. Welcome to the last episode covering prawns and oysters in this series. Right before we head into covering Australian Christmas turkey consumption and waste stats. This one will be quite different from the rest. We'll have to read an article about oysters later on in this episode. But until then, let's get right into the stats. Starting with Australian Christmas prawn statistics. 2021, 8,727,500,000 grams multiplied by 40% equals 3,491,000,000 grams divided by 197.5 grams equals 17,675,949 prawns. In 2022, 9,825,500,000 grams multiplied by 40% equals 3,930,200,000 thousand grams divided by 197.5 grams equals 19 million eight hundred ninety nine thousand seven hundred forty seven prawns and finally in 2023 four billion one hundred twenty eight million grams multiplied by 40 percent equals one billion six hundred fifty one million two hundred thousand grams divided by 197.5 grams equals eight million three hundred sixty thousand five hundred six prawns and now let's get straight into oysters before we get to the averages for both and end this episode. In 2021, 606,564 multiplied by 40% equals 242,626 oysters. In 2022, 949,032 multiplied by 40% equals 379,613 oysters. Also, by the way, before I get into 2023, I won't be able to do the whole population thing anymore when it comes to oysters and how many consumers there are for each year from here on out. Now, according to an article called Flooding and Heavy Rain Could Mean Something Missing from Your Christmas Table, published onto the Sydney Morning Herald by Laura Chung on December 6th, 2023. Oyster farmers along the South Coast should be ramping up for the busiest time of the year, but this Christmas recent heavy rain and flooding means there will be shortages. The region is one of the most significant oyster producing regions in Australia, producing about 60% of the state's total oyster production. Every estuary south of Sydney is closed for harvesting after heavy rainfall and floods smashed the area last week. When some areas received 250 to 300 millimeters, Porter's Creek received the most rainfall in 24 hours with 351 millimeters, while Jervis Bay recorded 226.8 millimeters of rain, and Maruya had 225 millimeters. Industry Support Officer Anna Simmons from Sapphire Coast Wilderness Oysters, a group on the south coast that supports producers, said the current harvesting shutdown would be the biggest Christmas oyster shortage in some time. The current situation on the south coast leaves a significant shortfall in the market and a missed opportunity for many local farmers who will likely lose their lucrative Christmas sales. But on the flip side, many north coast estuaries are open and this should present them with a great opportunity to fill the shortfall after also enduring a tough few years, she said. Kelly Jones, co-owner of Natural Oyster Company, located in Pambula, said logs and debris were washed into their oyster leases, which will take weeks to clean up. Salinity levels will also be affected, so oysters cannot be harvested until water returns to normal. We won't be selling oysters before Christmas, Jones said. She added, it will take some time for them to do water sampling and quality assurance to ensure the oysters are 100% which means they will be closed until early next year, like many oyster farmers in the region. So what I'm basically saying is, either it's an estimate so small that I can't even come up with a percentage of the makeup of oyster consumers in comparison to the Australian population, there can't be an estimate made in any positive sense, or if it's to the point where it can't be estimated at all in a positive sense, it's by far more likely that zero oysters were consumed for the Christmas of 2023 in Australia. So before I end this episode and this portion of the series, let's analyze the averages for each meat choice for the last time. 
given the shocking news and went straight to zero, also assuming that Australians seeing the news are concerned, so they decided that they would be a bit of a risk to eat those oysters from the northern portions of Australia from those said estuaries, or they chose to opt out of oysters and just have prawns with their turkey and ham. Let's get to prawns and then oysters when it comes to the average consumption in individual units. The 2000s, 50,482,025 prawns. The 2010s, 39,367,696 prawns. And from 2021 to 2023, the average is 15,312,067 prawns. And finally, let's get to oysters. The 2000s, with an average of 94,553,010 oysters. The 2010s, with the average of 15,375,553 oysters. And finally, for the years 2021 to 2023, presumably also accounting for zero oysters in 2023, 311,119 oysters, a drastic drop in comparison to the two previous decades before it. Thank you all for watching. That's the best I can do when it comes to prawns and oysters from 2001 to 2023. I'm Brian Mullins the Fox signing out. See you in the next episode where I start covering Australian Christmas turkey. See you then.